Guys, I'm Julie Beeler. Lost my voice for a couple days, but I am back and just in time to make my NFL wildcard playoff predictions. Let's start in Houston as the six seeded Cincinnati Bengals visit the Texans to avenge a week 14 loss. Now, this is the first time in NFL history that rookie quarterbacks are going head to head in a playoff game, which makes picking this game kind of like choosing the second or third runner up in Miss America. Yes, there's a lot of emotion involved, but neither one of them is holding the crown at the end of the day. So does it really matter? I think not. I'm gonna have to go with the Texans in this game, mainly because they're at home and their defense, and I think that they've got some more momentum coming out of the end of the season. Let's move on to the other game, another history-setting game where two 5,000-yard passers go head-to-head -head in Drew Brees and Matthew Stafford. First time that's ever happened in NFL history. In fact, guys, there've only been two prior to this season two 5,000-yard passers, 2008 Drew Brees and 1984 Dan Marino. This season, three all day in Brees, Stafford, and Brady. Quite the historic season we've had, and isn't it fun to watch it in the playoffs? Anyway, Lions and Saints in New Orleans. If the Lions are smart, they will take a page from the 2001 Patriots defense when they had to take on the greatest show on turf. And rather than focus on Kurt Warner, they focused on Marshall Falk, made him pay every snap, regardless of whether or not he held the ball. Well, the same can be said for this season and the New Orleans Saints. Rather than focusing on Drew Brees, focus on the man who just set an NFL record for all-purpose net yards in Darren Sproles. Guys, in the three Saints losses over this past season, Sproles had three carries for 39 yards. In the 13 wins, he averaged 7.2 yards a carry. So clearly, limiting Sproles limits the Saints' explosiveness, and if you can get a hold of him and make him pay every time the ball is snapped, regardless of if he touches it or not, you have a chance to disrupt Drew Brees' timing and the entire explosiveness of the Saints' offense. Do I think the Lions can do it? Unfortunately, no. Would it be a great story? No question. But I think ultimately Sean Payton and Drew Brees are just too, too much for the Lions to handle. They don't have the safeties, and the Saints and the Texans are the big winners today. Next, we'll talk about Sunday's wildcard playoffs. Can the Broncos take on the Steelers? And is it time for the New York Giants' magic season to end? Glad you could watch. I'm Julie Beeler.